Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at Tunify Yourself. Here's the website. As always, all the links are down in the description. This is the easiest version. You just click Browse to upload a photo, click Tunify, and then you are done. There are some example pictures there just to see the sort of thing that you can get out. Now, down in the frequently asked questions, we've got lots of information and links there. And there's a blog post there on making Tunify yourself. That's quite a good little post, and I suggest you have a read through that just to learn about what is going on. Now, the link I liked myself was this same one on his website, Stargan Network Blending, which basically gives more of an overview uh, of what is going on. So uh, here they introduce a concept called layer swapping in order to mix two Stargan models. Uh, the aim was to blend a base model and another created from that using transfer learning, the fine-tuned model. So if you read through that, that gives you more information about what is going on down there. And also under the hood is a little bit of Pix2Pix HD, also the repository for that. Now, if you want to tunify yourself using Google Colab, there is also a Google Colab notebook link there as well. You can click on that and go through all the stuff. But as always, I am installing it on my local PC because that's what I like to do. So essentially what I've done is taken that Google Colab book there and just put it into a simple Python file that I can run locally. Now, in order to run that locally, you do, of course, need to have Justin Pinkney's StyleGAN2 fork which is over here on GitHub. So you can git clone that and uh, install it using my usual little YML file. Again, link down in the description there, conda env create minus minus file, and then whatever the file name is, I think it's stargan2 in this case, activate your conda environment and away you go. Now there are a few little tests that this does. Uh, so you just have to run that nvcc and uh, also create few little directories there. So we've got uh, aligned raw, which is basically where you put all your pictures and generated where the stuff comes out. So let's have a little look at this. So that basically goes through, downloads the two uh, pre-trained models from their various Google drives and CloudFront, and then creates your tune in the generated folder. Fantastic. So. All you have to do to get that to run is these three commands here. So the first thing to do is you take your images in raw and then that will produce an aligned version. Now, I haven't got any images in there at the moment, so let's go and grab one. I'm going to head over to Pixabay and I am going to search for a face because that is what this works best on, the faces. It's a blended FFHQ model, so if you can get a face, that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing to get a face. Right, what sort of face am I going to pick here? I need, need quite a big face. So that, oh, there's, there's one with a beard. I've used him before. And uh, all right, let's do, let's do this one. Okay, so we'll download this. Download. And I will put that into this raw directory here. Okay, there we go. So put the file in raw. Now I will Python align them. And there we go. So Python align images raw align. So all that does is that looks at that raw image there and goes, right, can I see a face? And it will cut that face out and put it into the aligned directory, ready to go. Okay, so there she is. Right, that's all nicely aligned. Now the next thing is to project that image. So we do a bit of Stargen 2 pix to pix hd projection that sort of thing num steps there 500 obviously you can increase that if you want to go really wild but uh, that will take a few seconds so i will just modify time slightly now okay so once that's finished over in generated you will have the 
generated image there, that's the Stargen 2 projection and also an NPY file. Then you can just run the Tunify and that's that Python there which is essentially just the copy of the notebook here. So that's just that stuff copied into a .py file. Make it nice and easy. And that only takes a few seconds to Tunify once it's loaded up the TensorFlow model goes through and there we go, it's popped out the other side. So there is the Tunified version. Let's move that cursor away. So there you go, generated, Tunified, generated, Tunified. Fantastic. Okay, so what else can we do with it? Well, it's, luckily we've got a blend models there. So if you've got this um, repository downloaded, that's got the uh, the blend models in there, that you, this comes with it. So then you can just blend your own models. For example, here uh, I am blending a model and outputting my own pickle there and input pickle one, input pickle two. There are lots of options there. Just have a look at the blend.py and you'll see all the bits and pieces in there. So easy enough to blend your own models. Fantastic. I've also done a little shell script there that just runs all three of those commands at once. So if I put loads and loads of pictures into raw I can just run tunify dash shut and that will go through and uh, align all the pictures and, and turn them into tunes. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is interpolate them because you've got some NPY files here. So that's basically a, a save of your uh, of your model. So rather than, uh, you know, just loading all the files in raw, I slightly modified the, the tunify code there. It's essentially this code um, just with a little wrapper around it to say, OK, Make sure you put a start and an end in there, and then it will load those uh, two latents and uh, interpolate through them. I just made a little interpolate function up there, uh, and then save that out as a video. So if I just do that one, this one is Python, oops, Tunify interpolation, and then I want the start. Now I've got some models that I generated previously, but I'll start with that uh, one I just made now. I'll say generated, and it's that npy file there that I want. .npy, and then the end of this interpolation I want from the ones that I previously generated. And let's have a look at these. There's various models in here, for example, lots of paintings I had to go with, and other people just to see how all those ones turned out, masks and things. So yeah, Marilyn Monroe, I thought it turned out quite well. Yeah, that's, that's quite a good one. So let's pick one of these at random. Uh, let's take that angry one there. So I've got an angry MP file there. Slap that in, .npy. Now this, I only, uh, I only do 240 steps uh, in between the two, and this takes a couple of seconds as well. So I'll just modify time slightly again. And there we go, so that's created this little video, tunify.mp4, going between the two points I picked. I have a little look, there you go, and there's the little video. Starts off with one, and ends up with the last one. There we go. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, that is Tunify and the uh, special StyleGAN repository there. Do enjoy Rodent Out.